हेलो क्लास इलेवन स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम यू ऑल टू माय चैनल एंड आई हैव ब्रोट अ वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक फॉर यू टुडे एंड दिस इज द प्रीव्यू ऑफ योर चैप्टर नंबर वन द समर ऑफ द ब्यूटीफुल वाइट हॉर्स फ्रॉम स्नैपशॉट रिटन बाय विलियम सरन विलियम सरन इज एन अमेरिकन ऑथर एंड ही इज रिटन द स्टोरी अबाउट टू कजन्स नाउ बिफोर आई स्टार्ट टेलिंग यू let me remind you to subscribe my channel and don't forget to press the bell icon so that you can get the notifications of the videos i upload on my channel and also share the video so that it reaches to the maximum students now uh, let me start telling you about the story uh, two cousins one was aram younger one just 9 years old and morand who was a teenager both of these dreamt of riding a horse uh, but they were very poor and they could not afford the horse and uh, one day what happened shocking incident happened aram was sleeping it was early morning and morand knocked the window and uh, asked him to come out when aram saw out of the window he saw him with a beautiful white horse and you know aram was in his childhood which is considered to be the golden stage of one's life and the stage which is away from hurry worry and stress he wanted to enjoy the horse to the full but still he was in a dilemma whether his cousin has stolen the horse but no he could never dare of stealing why because the family was known for its honesty okay but because they could not afford that means he had stolen so he started asking the question from morad morad snubbed him by saying if you want to ride the horse immediately come out of the house now aram being a young guy got out of the room, uh, of the house and went with him first of all both of these rode the horse and then morid alone rode the horse aram also wanted to ride and he requested him and he was allowed but the moment he sat on the horse started riding the horse snorted jumped and made him fall this was how horse started galloping uh, leaving aram behind it now morid ran after it he was not concerned about aram he was concerned about the horse because horse was not his own it was of somebody whom he had to return and that is why he went swiftly to find the horse now after that morning every day both of these brought the horse out of the hideout which morad had found and they kept on riding the horse for many days now one day what happened the morning when aram went back to his home after riding the horse he saw somebody was sitting in the parlor of his house and he was the uncle khosro Uncle Khosro was very irritable, short-tempered man, and he could not bear anyone speaking even the bit. He met there John Byro. John Byro, who was a lonely farmer, came there. Aram's mother served both of them with tobacco roll and coffee. And meantime, John Byro complained of his stolen horse. At this, Uncle Khosro snubbed him by saying that. it's no harm pay no attention and aram was listening about all this immediately he ran to uh, morid morid who was standing a hurt robin and he told the incident to him and he was he was afraid that morid would return the horse back to the owner and that's why he made him promise not to return the horse until he would learn riding after that they kept on riding the horse every morning and then hit the horse wherever uh, the, the place was found by morid now one day when they were going back to hide the horse after riding they encountered john byro 
John Byro saw the horse, examined him out of curiosity, and swore in the name of God that the horse was twin of his own horse. But Morad showed his confidence by refusing this. But because he belonged to the honest family, and that is why immediately he decided to return the horse to its owner. And that very day only, he went to the farm of uh, of John Byro, and there he thought of leaving the horse. There was a dog, and Aram, being a small boy, thought that they would be caught because dog would start barking. But Morad was a tactful guy, and he immediately whispered something into the ear of the dog, and the dog was silenced. And later on, when Aram asked how did he silence the dog, Morad boasted of his quality that he. had a way with everyone and this was how they could fulfill their wish to ride the horse and they showed their honesty also by returning the horse and john byro became so happy that he went back to the house of uncle khosro sorry uh, went back to uncle khosro and told him that he got his horse back now see the temper of uncle khosro he became again angry and told that not to pay any attention to that it's no harm okay but john byro was very happy because his horse had become healthier more cheerful than earlier thank you students all the best bye bye we'll meet again in the next video uh, till then don't forget to subscribe my channel